I might just be a servant among lords, but don't think for a moment I don't take my duty as seriously as the god himself. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Did he now? <laughs> the man is persistent. I'll give him that. I suppose it's time I give him an answer. Juventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Irelith. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man. Or march his storm cloaks up to the gates. He'll do no such thing. A dagger in the back is all you could expect. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him. That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King. But neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, then let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius' request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the White Gold Concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance it's, to object to the terms? It's you! No! I knew you made it out of Helgen alive! That we dragon had no chance had of like stopping it. you. <laughs> the chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. So about this axe. You can return this axe to our friend. The esteemed Jarl of Windhelm has my answer. Sure, he gets it. Proventus, bring me my pen and the good parchment. Are we writing a letter, Lord? Yes, to General Tullius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires. Anyone who trifles with us guards here in Windhelm on our soon. Just think I the advantage. I'm not saying it wouldn't be useful, but there are better uses of our resources right now. Uh, I don't suppose we would ever really trust the thing anyway. We should take your march. It'll be an important pressure point on the Imperials. We'd be within spitting distance of the capital. Then I was wrong about him. You're right, Dalmar. Again? I'm in no mood to joke. Give the word, my lord, and Whiterun is yours. Whiterun is only a means to an end. I've toured our camps. We're ready, Ulfric. Whenever you are. Is any man ever ready to give the order? That will mean the deaths of many. No. But neither is every man able to give that order when he must. But you are that man, Ulfric. You've been that man before, and you'll be him again. And these men and women, they call themselves Stormcloaks because they believe in you. They are the meanest, toughest sons of bitches Skyrim has to offer. And they want this. They want this as much as you do. Perhaps they want it more. You're certain we're ready. Whiterun's army will no doubt be bolstered with legionnaires. And those walls around Whiterun are old. But they still stand. We are ready. 
And I might be old myself, but I'll kick those damn walls down with my bare feet, if you would only ask me to do it. Ha. <laughs> I'm sure you could do it, too. All right. This is it. Yes! Send the word. A new day is dawning, and the sun rises over Whiterun. I and the sons of Skyrim will greet that dawn, teeth and swords flashing. So it begins. Make haste to our camp in White Rock. I want you on the front lines. I have a feeling about you. Your place is on that battlefield. I need you there. Then I commit them to whatever gods they still believe in. Talos be with you. This is it, men! Yeah. They say that our cause is false, and that we are nothing more than thieves, thugs, and murderers. But no! We are farmers! We are craftsmen! We are sons and daughters of shopkeepers, maidservants, and soldiers! We are the sons and daughters of Skyrim! We have come this far because our cause is true! Because we fight as one, and because our hearts are bursting with anger. What we do here today, we do for our country, for all the true lords of Skyrim. White Run's walls are tall, but they are old and crumbling, like the Empire whose legion lines them. They barricade to block us, but we'll tear through them. And the Imperials behind them! Our objective is the drawbridge. If we can find a way to drop it, the city will be ours! Everyone on me! Let's show these Imperial milk drinkers what true lords look like! Come on! 
Where'd you come? Oh, no. A little late for that. family was noticeably absent from the walls. Now I know why. Wouldn't the dagger in the back have sufficed? You think this is personal? The Empire has no place in Skyrim. Not anymore. And you, you have no place in Whiterun anymore. A convenient position to hold now. But mark my words, old man. In the days to come, Ulfric will spread his rebellion thin. And what then? We need the Empire as much as it needs us. We Nords are the Empire. Our blood built it. Our blood sustains it. You of all people should know that. If this was my Empire, I'd be able to worship whoever I damned well pleased. You wish to see an Empire without Talos? Without its soul? We should be fighting those witch elves, not bending knee to them. The Emperor is nothing more than a puppet of the Thalmor. Skyrim needs a High King who will fight for her. And Whiterun needs a Jarl who will do the same. Tell me, Fignar, was all this worth it? How many of those corpses lining our streets wear the faces of men who Hats once called self, you friend? Steve. What about their families? Enough! Both of you! There is a burning city out there that needs a government. He's right. Galmar, come. Let us restore order. This isn't over. Hear me, you old fool. This isn't over. And you, Stormcloak. I thought better of you. You'll all come to regret this day. I'm pretty sure I killed more than you. Of our victory. I was counting. Watch yourself out there. First, we'll kick the Thalmor and their bloody Imperial puppets out of the country. Then, we will rebuild Skyrim into the land she once was. When we are done with that, we will take our army to the Dominion and show those pointy-eared bastards. Not every man is fit to be their slave. Battle reveals who a man really is. Remember that. Are your ears still ringing? I hope that goes away. <laughs> 